You don't touch the captain. Don't touch the captain. Don't touch the captain. <laughs> Thanks for giving us this week, man. And He's doing the this. only guitar event of the year, you rock. One well, Nam was there. You rock. But we had Nam. No, you rock. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Max, you not so much. <laughs> I know. <laughs>Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today I've got something very slightly different for you although it does hark back to 42 Gear Street this is a double header with my good friend and fellow youtuber Max Solo and what we're going to do today is we're going to do a two-part video the first part is here on my channel and the second part will be over on Max's channel now, I know you've probably had an awful lot of Telecaster recently with this Harley Benton that I've been looking at. But while we were at 42 Gear Street, Max and I checked out a couple of very high-end tellies. And you find out what we thought of them. We had a Friedman Vintage T and a Maybach Teleman. Let's go and have a look at how we got on with these guitars. Hey folks, I'm here at 42 Gear Street Le Deux with the lovely Max. Max, hey everyone. <laughs> it's lovely to have you on the channel, mate. And tell us a little bit about your channel, what you're all about, and what my viewers out there, my good friends out there, can expect when they come over. When, not if, but when they come over to check out your channel. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. Uh, my channel is about guitars and gear and guitars and gear. Again, it's very geeky. It's very nerdy. So. That's like a quintessence of nerdiness, if you will. Uh, I do all the crazy stuff. I test 45 power supplies for noise. I test 79 patch cables uh, for noise and issues and stuff like that. Uh, I test telecasters and strats uh, to compare them and uh, find out what the differences are. And uh, I literally just started my Instagram like a month ago. Right. Uh, where I post some uh, exclusive content, shall I say. Okay. Uh, so... Yeah, you're all very welcome to join. Fantastic. Do go over and check out his channel. Uh, there's lots of great stuff over there. And today we're just going to have a look at two, well, what I'm going to call T-style guitars. Now this red one, well, this salmon pink looking one that I'm holding is a Friedman. And these are the classic, the T-classic, vintage T-classic, this says on the back. Okay. And... Um, Standard, pretty much standard in terms of pickup configuration. Three-way selector switch. I would say very traditional. Volume and tone. Yeah. Let's face it, it's in all but name, it does the job, doesn't it? So yeah. um, it's got really, really nice inlays. This is a relic guitar. I know that you guys know what I feel about relic guitars. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, okay. Well, let me tell you what I feel about relic yeah. guitars. Um, I'm not a big fan of relicking on bodywork and on, on aging things. What I am a fan of is when the, the neck is relicked and feels played okay. in. It's kind of like, for me, I, I'm very much at the uh, Philip McKnight school of you don't mm. buy a brand new car and then ask them to put scratches and dents in it. Yeah. But I understand <laughs> and fully understand uh, when Henning says, for example, that the great thing about a relic guitar is you can... You can beat it up and you can throw it around. It doesn't matter what you do to it. It still looks new. Because <laughs> it still looks exactly the way it did out of the box. But right. Yeah, I, I'd like to keep my guitars nice and shiny and uh, and as new as I can. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of relicking, but I have to say, out of the companies that do relicking, I think that the two companies that we're holding guitars from do a marvellous job of it. And uh, it's very tastefully done. And I I don't mind it so much. But... Yeah, it's really, for me, it's the neck. If the neck feels played in and it's super smooth and it's um, not sticky, mm -hmm. uh, then for me, that's the best part of relicking. Okay, these two feel different in, in terms of neck. Yeah. But for the rest, uh, I can tell, I can I can agree with you. Yeah, they are nicely relicked, yeah. if that's the thing. Yeah. Um, I don't have, I don't own a single relicked guitar. So for me, it's a whole oh, new world, right. so okay. to speak. But it kind of feels warm, like someone played it before, right? So yeah, you yeah. take a guitar and like, okay, yeah, it's it's there. It's ready to go. Uh, that that's kind of my feeling. Um, I'll tell you what. Why don't you, for me on the channel, why don't you demo these two guitars and we can hear how they sound. And right. uh, yeah, you're up for that. I can play something. Awesome. Some you random notes, shall we? Yeah, do it, man. All right, let's go.
Beautiful, lovely neck tone there. It and does sound very transparent, I, would, I should say. Very clear, very... Mm? Uh, I would say it's not it's not over bright, but it's bright. Yeah. Which yeah. is nice. Very, and, very nice. And by the way, we're going into this big red Friedman amp right behind me. That is the Jakey Lee. Oh. Did you I, know that? No. But there you go. I, that's the Jakey Lee model I cannot read Friedman this. amp. <laughs> and um, that's uh, that's an exclusive, I think, here at, at Gear Street. I think we've got a little bit of a first look at that. So Which is cool. They'll, yeah. There'll be a date of release for this, I'm sure. But yeah, that's that's the Friedman Jakey Lee. And it sounds absolutely lovely. The response on that amp, particularly... As you'd expect with Jakey's tones, the crank mm. tones are are amazing. Would you like to play this guitar and then yeah, we swap? Yeah, for sure. Let's have a. Shall I also have a little listen to the? Um, Why not the, the neck <laughs> pickup? the middle as well sorry i had to do it because i just needed to hear what that sure. sounded like <laughs> lovely tone again nice and bright and clear but also that's got some very very nice bass in you know that very nice liking this guitar should we swap over let's do that there you go man yeah have a little play on that one and see what you think all right can sense the difference. I can sense the difference. And I can hear it because hearing you play this one and then hearing you play that one, it made you play very slightly differently. And I'm not going to so. I'm not going to give anything so. away because actually at the end of this video, we're not going to say what we think about these two guitars or compare them. You're going to have to head over to his channel to hear that and to get our our response on what we feel about the about these two guitars. So check that out. I'll put a link in the description down below. Let's have a listen to this. Again, I'm going to start on the neck and then probably work back to the middle. I don't know if I... Oh, no, we'll yeah, give you all do three it, do it, do it. Yeah. positions. So let's have a listen. Okay, I know what I think of them. <laughs> I know what I think of them too. <laughs> Go over to his channel and check out our response on what we feel about these two guitars. Thanks so much for watching as always. A big thank you to you for coming on the channel today, my friend. Thanks, Mike. And I hope that we get to do many more videos together while we're here Absolutely at too, yeah. 42 Gear Street, a Lido. Yep, that was indeed 42 Gear Street, and it was great to make a video with Max. Now go over to his channel to see what we thought about those two Telecaster guitars. I'd be very interested to know what you think, especially if you've been and watched both videos. Don't forget to comment in the section down below in the comment section because I love reading those and I respond to as many as I possibly can. 
and also do the same for Max over on Max Solo's channel. I'll be back with the best content I can. Don't forget to give me a like and a thumbs up and it can never hurt to subscribe. And I'll be back with more content on Halloween. I'm thinking that we might change the live show to Saturday this week. Let me know what you think about that and I'll see you then. In the meantime, as always, my friends, you take good care.